Do you know how to write a function in slope-intercept form? First, let's take a look at an equation written in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. A function can also be in this form. Let's take a look at what that would look like. We can say that the function of x is equal to mx plus b. Now, let's consider a function. Consider the function negative 2x plus 3. And we want to use this function notation to find different values for the function of x. Take a look. We're going to find the function of 2, the function of 3, and the function of 4. And we're going to do that by substituting 2, 3, and 4 into this function, negative 2x plus 3. Then we'll be able to find the value of the function. Let's use the first one and find the function of 2. Notice that we substituted 2 in every place that we saw an x in the original function. So the function of 2 is equal to negative 2 times 2 plus 3. Now let's evaluate the right side of the equation. We have negative 4 plus 3 and finally we have negative 1. Now remember that the function of x is interchangeable with y. So if you look at these two values, the 2 for x and the negative 1 for the output or the y value, you can see that this also forms an ordered pair. We can say that we have the ordered pair 2, negative 1. Now let's look at finding the function of 3. Here we have that the function of 3 is equal to negative 2, times 3 plus 3. When we evaluate this we have negative 6 plus 3 and finally we end up with the output of negative 3. Again we have an x value and a y value. Our ordered pair is 3, negative 3. Now let's look at finding the function of 4. We have the function of 4 is equal to negative 2 times 4 plus 3. We have negative 8 plus 3 on the right side of the equation, and we end up with negative 5. Once again, we have an x value and a y value, so we end up with the ordered pair 4, negative 5. Now if we were going to graph this function, these three ordered pairs would be solutions for the equation and we could graph them on the coordinate grid. Can you write an equation given this information? Hmm, let's think about that. First, let's write an equation in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. Now let's look at what information we've been given right away. We know that m is 2 and that 2 is the slope. Let's substitute that. y equals 2x plus b. What about this information? Well, this tells us an x value of 3 and an output or y value of negative 2. So we can say that based on this information right here, that we have an ordered pair of 3 negative 2. Hmm, if we substitute those into the equation, we can solve for b. We have negative 2 is equal to 6 plus b. Now let's solve for b. Negative 8 is equal to b. Now we can finally write the equation. y is equal to 2x minus 8. Our work is complete.